Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Bite Size Ideas for Junk Journals. Today we're going to be making little fabric swatches. And these are going to be nice and flat to go in your journals. So as you can see, just cutting up the fabric into smaller pieces. I think they're roughly one and a half inches square. But I do change my mind afterwards and I do do it slightly differently than I did the first one. So this one was my little prototype. And as you can see, I'm sticking to the black, white, grey sort of colours. Oh, I could put this in me black and white just because book. I might add that. So now I've realised that it looks quite good with a longer layer at the back. So I think that's what I do next. And I'm going for a selection of blues. So I've got this lovely blue and white gingham. I don't quite want all of the strings attached. So we're going to see what are the blues I've got in this little pile of scraps. Not quite sure why I'm alternating between my little scissors and my uh, crinkle edge scissors, but I am. Now, I'm not making these for any particular journal, so all I'm doing is sort of using up my scraps, and I'm going to make a whole bunch. So, for instance, if you're doing a boho journal, you could use, like, really vibrant colours. If you're doing a vintage journal, then, you know, stick to your neutrals. And it will. you can just do them however you like. So, I'm just going to do a selection because I've, I'm doing quite a lot of different journals at the moment. So, I'm just, I'm just making some stash. So that I've got some things ready to put in my journals. I do think that's the way forward for me. I don't know about you guys, but I I seem to spend more time stopping and making things. While I'm in the middle of making a journal. I just think it would be quite nice to have these bits ready. So I'm hoping that that's what this little series of videos will do these little bite-sized 10 minute videos are just going to inspire you and you know take these ideas and put your own spin on them so as you can see here this is quite a neutral one but I'm just brightening it up with the little flower on the top there we go Okay, so next one, I think I'm going to just do a bit of a multicoloured one. This will probably be going in maybe a boho journal or in one of my eclectic use it up journals. Those are my favourites. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to run off to my machine, quickly sew. There they are, all sewn up. One little row of stitches across the top you can hand stitch i was just being lazy and did it on the machine and i just sort of put them all in a pile one after the other and just went through them all just snip off the ends and there they are i i did do a few more before i sewed but i didn't think you needed to sit through me make all of these although i will warn you they are quite addictive and you do use up a few of your scraps, so always good. So I'm going to make a little backing for them. And I'm going to use this old piece of file folder. You can use whatever you like. And I'm going to just trim it down to about one and a half inches, <laughs> roughly. The only reason I've got it on my mat is because I'm cutting it with my knife. 
There we go. Then take my scissors and cut probably about one and a half inches and I'm just making them the same by measuring them one against the other. Then they're all roughly the same size. You don't need to. This is about much measuring as I do, as you know. If you're a regular watcher, measuring is not something I do very often. <laughs> We have four little pieces. I'm not going to do all of them. I will finish them off afterwards. Now I'm going to use my copper dial and just punch a little hole in the top. If you haven't got a copper dial, then just use whatever you've got. Any sort of single hole puncher. If you have one of these two hole punchers, then just put them in one side and punch one hole. So these are now ready for our next step and we're going to drag the fabric back in and just attach it down and it's as simple as that. So grab some of the fabrics and a bit of glue. Now you can sew these on obviously if you want to sew them on your machine you could probably do it all in one go but I didn't want the sewing on the back of the card. Oops, <laughs> I think I've got glue on my fingers. My glue is like right on the end, so it's quite gloopy. Yeah, I've definitely got glue on my fingers. So that's the ones we've made. These are all the ones that I made. Told you I got a bit carried away, as normal when I'm doing my embellishments. So I thought I'd show you a few ways of using them. I'm just about to put this on here and I realise it's completely the wrong colour. So I'm going to pop it onto this one and just, it's a bit of crinkled up seam binding. So I shall put that on. So now I've got a brad. I'm sure they're called brads. I do get muddled up. So I thought I'm going to attach this into my little ideas journal with a brad. And that's another way to use them. So this is my journal that I'm using as my ideas book. I'm just going to, again, make a hole. I've chosen a page that is pretty substantial. It's a not Edith Holden, the other one, the flower garden book. And I'm just going to pop this. Oh, no, I've changed my mind again. <laughs> I've gone colour schemed again. I've gone pink with the purple. Pink and purple. Because the yellow was not matching. I will put the yellow on somewhere else. I love how it dangles out the bottom. It's really cool. Now, I want to put a, the yellow one on this page, I think. In that little pocket. Um, so I'm just going to do one little thing just to embellish it up a bit more. And that's to put a little eyelet in the top absolutely don't need to I just think it finishes it off and then using the pocket I'm gonna have lost it lost my pocket <laughs> come back there you are I'm gonna tuck the cardboard bit into the pocket and let the fabric dangle over the front and I think that looks really sweet then another one I put a hole and an eyelet in and I'm going to dangle that just on the side with a ball pin. So there's like different ways you can attach them and use them. You could put them onto tags, you can add them onto journaling cards, onto pockets. It's, you know, whatever you want to use the embellishment for. That one will dangle out the side of the book. So... Loving these. I hope you've liked them. If you do, please give me a like. And if you make any, let me know. I'll see you all again soon, guys, for another bite-sized junk journal idea. Bye.